Max Cavalera is a guitarist well known in the metal scene. He started the band Sepultura in the 80s along with his brother Igor and would help redefine metal in the 90s with their style of tribal infused groove into heavy metal. After leaving Sepultura in 1996, he would work as a guest vocalist on Deftone's song Head Up from their 1997 album Around the Fur. He also has many side projects which include Nail Bomb, Cavalera Conspiracy, Killer Be Killed, Go Ahead and Die, but his most prominent one is his current band Soulfly, which was formed in 1997 and have released 12 albums to date, including their most recent one, which I will discuss in this review. Hi, I'm Jilly from Live Listen Erased, and on this episode we're going to be going into Soulfly's latest album, Totem. It's interesting the ethos that Max Cavalera puts into his music. I mean, Max just pumps out solid riffs constantly, and Soulfly are beasts when it comes to recording music, with 40 minute albums out usually every two or so years. Totem is the longest gap between albums at four years, but COVID probably played a part in it taking so long. But, at last, we have another slab of heavy metal served by the maestro himself. Now, Soulfly aren't trying to reinvent the wheel, and considering Max Cavalera's influence on the metal scene, I don't think anyone would say he needs to. After all, they perfected their version of heavy metal, and everyone knows what they are about by now. I mean, if bands like Slayer, Motorhead and the Ramones didn't change their style and they continued to garner fans for their music over time, then it shows that you can play into your strengths and they do so on this release as well. Totem is 40 minutes of heavy metal riffs pelted at you with a short reprise in the band performing their signature track, of course, the slow instrumental song Soulfly 12, continuing their tradition from previous albums, of course. Yes, the Soulfly piece, of course, returns for their 12th album, and I like the incorporation of chants in the background, and the beat would be in the style of a dance around a campfire, I guess, but overall, it's not up to my standard for this piece. Despite this, I wouldn't skip the track on playthroughs, and to be honest, I feel that the entire album is a solid slugger with a great tunes, brutally nasty riffs, and in your face lyrics of course, especially regarding the song titles. Of course there is a solid rhythm section within the band and I'll admit that I feel Tony Campos added different elements to the bass section in playing, but it's not bad here. And Zion Cavalera, Max's son of course, is fantastic as ever on drums, pounding them into the ground at times in his ruthlessness. What is an interesting piece will be the closing track, Spirit Animal. At nearly 10 minutes long, it varies from fast paced thrash attack until it slows in pace to a doom style riff, eventually fading out to a bass line only, to a sort of jam piece following up with clean vocals by Chris Ulsh of Power Trip. And he has some very silky smooth delivery, and it's well suited in the style of the closing minutes of this track. He also does a guitar solo on this song. We are also joined by Richie from Insight, who does some vocals on the song. Another guest on the album can be found on Scouring the Vial, which includes guest vocals by Obituaries John Tart. At the end of the day, it's always great to have another Soulfly album, and I'm not complaining one bit about this effort. It's another great addition to their catalogue. Like an old saying goes, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Overall, I give the album 2.5 million chilies on the spicy scale, with my favourite tracks being Scar in the Vial, Totem, and Spirit Animal. If you are like me, and you like your beer cold, your steak medium rare, and your metal heavy, then you're going to love this album, because Soulfly doesn't disappoint here. Thank you for tuning in to this episode of 5 Minute Reviews. Do the socials, of course, and everyone, have a great day and stay spicy. Thank you for tuning in to this episode of Live Listen Erased. And if you have enjoyed this episode, make sure you share it with all your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to our Chili Con Carnage crew so you can get notified for all the future videos that we put out, as we put out videos every Friday.
Also, we are on Discord, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter over at Live Listener Race, so make sure to tune in over there. And don't forget to like this video so that our manager can stay very happy.